Hello and welcome to Saturday. Just left uh, the Fairfield in Richmond, Virginia. On our way home, we got about five hours or so, uh, but we're gonna be making a special stop because Seth, uh, who we have seen multiple times on the vlog, we actually got a chance to meet up with him when he lived in Texas, when we took our huge road trip from West Coast to East Coast. You're gonna wanna you know, slide it up here like this. And then usually you gotta do it in, in you know, two steps. <laughs> because you can't get all this in your mouth at once. Seth has moved. He lived in Texas for a few years, but he just recently moved to Rocky Mount, North Carolina, which is on the way. And uh, I talked to him yesterday, and uh, he said that he'd be available for lunch. So we're going to be meeting him uh, for lunch in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Um, I think we're going to be getting Pizza Inn, which is a good little pizza buffet. So we got about two hours until that happens. Um, right now, if we stay on track, we should be home by like 4 p.m., which is fantastic. I'll be honest, we weren't supposed to be away from home this long, <laughs> so I'm really excited to get home. But first, pizza buffet. SUV and he had to put his brakes on. There wasn't a car length between the two of you when you cut over to the left lane. Did you not see him over there? Oh, I'm sorry. I honest to God, I didn't even didn't even. Yeah, it looked like the traffic was slowing down in front of you. At least when you moved out of the way, that guy in front of you had his brake lights on. I'm assuming that's why you changed lanes. Uh, everything just happened real fast. I didn't even think about it. Okay. When I saw the lights on, I was thinking, well, I knew I wasn't speeding. No, speeding wasn't it. You just that guy's coming up and you went right over in front of him. Okay, I'm sorry. Couldn't have fit a car between you and he had to put his brakes on. I'm gonna give you a warning, okay? When the traffic slows in front of you, slow down before you cut over there, okay? I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. Got up in the morning, it's nice. Although, to be honest, I don't even know what I did. <laughs> like, if I'm, if I'm real honest, I'll have to go back and watch the dash cam footage because I. I sincerely do not even know what happened. And he was like, were you aware that you did a thing? And I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> I'm driving the car and I don't, I'm not thinking about like every- just reacting. I'm just, yeah, it's a, driving is a series of reactions. And I don't, you know, to my knowledge, do anything unsafe. You know, I'm always looking to see before I come over and stuff, but you know, he said that there was an issue with that I wasn't a car's length in front of the person that I got in front of, which might have been true, but it also may have been a reaction to something happening in front of me, so I don't know. But he did not give us a ticket, which was nice. Seth's here, and so are we, to eat this beautiful pizza. The only time I've ever been to a pizza inn is in a small little town near us called Conway, South Carolina. And it is really old and really small. And this one is like really nice. And they even have their own mascot over there who's walking around saying hi to the children. It's really weird being in a, like a big one like this. So how have you been in, in new location? Cause you're not in Texas anymore. I'm in good. Is just, it? I just moved here. Uh, like six weeks ago. Oh yeah. yeah I'm, it's good. I'm gonna guess that it's better than Texas because it's more like home than Texas was. That's correct. <laughs> yes. The barbecue is better. <laughs> the burgers are better. Hmm. You're going to start some fights with anyone who watches from Texas. I don't care. I lived there for five years. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> On Mondays, I never go to work. On Tuesdays, I stay at home. On Wednesdays, I'm always feeling fine. Work is the last thing on my mind. On Thursdays, 
It's a holiday, and Fridays I detest. Oh, it's much too late on a Saturday, and Sunday's a day of rest. Hello, boys. How are you? Hi, buddy. Hi, kitty cats. They're like, you've been gone for a long time. Where Hello. have you been? Hi. Hello. Oh, oh sweeties. Hi. I know Hi. it's been a while. We're sorry. We've been all over the place, man. We have put so many miles on the car. We put so many miles on the car that we had an oil change right before we left. And now that we're back, we're several hundred miles over due for another oil change. That's how many. Yeah. God, it feels weird to even walk in here. It feels like something's missing, doesn't it? It felt like that when I walked through the hallway. I know. Like, was it, did we have something here? I mean, our hoodies normally hang right there. We took them with us. I don't know. Also, we, I think we cleaned right before we, we left. So I think that might be why is that we're so used to like crap being <laughs> just sitting somewhere that when we walked in and we didn't see the crap, we were like, you know, this is in our house. Anyway, holy cow, we're home. After having traveled an immense distance. In fact, I'm not exactly sure of the distance. Um, I need to check. I'm going to double check and find out exactly how far we went because um, it was a long way, a long way. And we have not seen these little boys in such a long time. But Mom and Dad took real good care of them. He's heavy. No. Oh yeah, I'm sure compared to like, you know, Chaz's cats. Maybe not Venser, but Elspeth and Koth. Hey, Bao. Hey. You're sweet. And we missed you. Yeah. It's good to be home. <laughs> he said, yeah. Row. Row. You want a treat? Kep says, I'll get a treat. That sounds great. Oh, man. Oh man. Now fortunately, um, I've prepared content on Steven Plays for like until Tuesday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then like half of Wednesday is already done. So that's good. Um, so at least I don't have to worry about that. Uh, it'll give me time to kind of catch up a little bit and not have to like hit the ground running as soon as I get home. Um, so I can relax a little bit. Mao, unfortunately, does not have that option. Yeah, she is going to be playing man down a little bit because she'll have a painting that's supposed to be coming out next Saturday. So you have one week to yep. paint and edit a video. So you'll have to jump into that tomorrow. Man, that's sort of, that's sort of bad. But like I said, we didn't really plan to be gone quite this long. Um, it's just we ended up going to Maryland, um, which I don't regret at all. Uh, and then also getting stuck last night. And then, uh, you know, we left a day late too. You know, we were originally gonna leave July 2nd. We ended up leaving July 3rd. So things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's okay. It was a good trip. So we've come over to my parents' house this evening um, for dinner, but uh, also to, you know, talk about the, the trip and, um, you know, show off pictures and and everything because you know we were obviously up in their neck of the woods um, I also figured out exactly how far we traveled um, estimated but pretty close estimate is about 3300 miles um, which is a lot of miles um, and also not quite as many miles as when we took the road trip um, I looked at the old video from 2014 and that road trip was apparently 3500 miles um, but pretty close uh, we were also gone for 12 days so yeah, uh, many, many miles. I know you're glad to have us back. <laughs> oh, by the way, we brought you something. You might be interested to open that. I was hoping that we'd be here yesterday so I could say we got them this morning, but we Aww. got them yesterday morning. Those are tea cookies from Lorenzo's. Oh, gosh, you're so sweet. I know. We were, trying, we were trying to find something that would keep... We figured a donut might go a little stale, but the cookie should still be good. Yes, so, absolutely. Well, Those, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm sure they're wow. delicious. Um, we're going to have crab cakes and show off pictures. And I'm going to try and reestablish the fact that I don't have to keep driving every day. I can actually sit for a while. So we had dinner with my parents, and then we showed them some of the photos that we had taken uh, while we were on the trip. And uh, we finished 
finish the evening off by showing them something Mao had been working on for uh, the last two days in the car, and that was a family tree. Um, Mao, while she's been in the car for the last two days, has been researching census data and things like that um, for my side of the family, my, my mom and dad's side of the family, and learning about their history, their relatives, and the amount of stuff that Mao has found out has been incredible to me. Um, she's learned stuff that I didn't know. She's learned stuff that my parents didn't know, um, just because she knew, you know, exactly where to look. And she has started the early workings of a family tree. And uh, I think it was appropriate, just because, you know, this vacation kind of turned into a little historic thing. And um, I, f I think I have felt more connected with my relatives and my, my family history in this these past few days than I ever have and it's a really cool feeling. But Mal's doing some early work. We've we found a few interesting things. Um, there is a connection to uh, Germany on my dad's side, as well as possibly France. It's pretty far back, but it's, it's there. Um, and Irish, I believe, on both sides. And all of this lines up pretty well with the DNA test that I took a while back, so it's interesting to kind of see that flesh out. But Mal's really only done census stuff. She's got to go through um, obituaries and birth records and military records in order to get it a little more uh, perfect, but it's looking good so far. And whenever we went over it with my mom, uh, my mom actually had a ton of information because uh, when her mom passed away, well, I, I think it was really when her dad passed away, she got her mom's family Bible, and her mom basically took every piece of information you could ever want to know and had put it in that book. Um, like any time someone had passed away and they went to the funeral, they would give out like the little ceremony cards that said like birth, death, etc. Well, she kept all of those, which made Mal's job even easier for the future because there's all of this additional information that would really help her out. So it was really cool. And Mal, thank you for for doing that because like You're welcome. Not I mean, my parents really appreciate that, obviously. But I really appreciate that, too, because I'm super in the dark about everything regarding my family. Anyway, the final thing that I wanted to do tonight was actually double-check the dash cam footage because, you know, the cop stopped me earlier and he said that I cut a guy off. So I actually went back and I looked at this footage. I found the clip where it happened. And um, the cop is technically right. Um, whenever I pull over, and it's hard to see because it's it's super, like... Uh, blown out in the back, but whenever I pull over, the the guy is actually right behind me. So I did, in a way, cut him off. But whenever I'm looking at the footage, I realize that he actually came up behind me really quick. So I probably what happened is I probably looked in my mirror and saw that he was back there, and then came over, and just didn't realize that he was really booking it behind me. Um, but when I did that, I ended up cutting him off and. The, the cop that was behind him was like, hey, I'm going to take care of that. But also, I've always known, and I don't know why I've always known this, there's just something people talk about how, I don't want to say bad, the cops in Virginia are. It's not that they're bad, but like they're plentiful. <laughs> they're plentiful, and it, it does seem like they stop people more frequently. Uh, and that might just be because something plays with your head when you're driving through the state, and there are always, there's all these signs about, like, you better not have a radar detector, uh, speed enforced by aircraft, radar enforcers, all of these signs regarding that. So it feels like a very, you know, policed state. Um, and, you know, I've talked to people in the past that have talked about on road trips getting tickets in Virginia. So I feel like the cops there are really doing their jobs. Um, maybe to the detriment a little bit of anyone driving, but uh, they're certainly keeping order or uh, at the very least handing out tickets. But not today. We got off with warning, which was, it was, it was nice. It's also the first time I've ever been stopped by a cop. I've had parking tickets in Savannah, but I've never been stopped by a police officer while driving. But, I mean, I guess it was bound to happen at some point, and today was my day. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow. Challenge.